guys, it's me, Mike. Welcome back to Unbox Warehouse. Now, it is getting a little cold here, even in Florida. So I do have my jacket. Let me take this off. Hold on. All right, that's better. Okay, now, even though it's getting a little cold here, even in Florida, um, I'm about to do an episode on ice cubes because I always like ice. It's a year-round commodity. Now, uh, do you remember that other... Hold on one second. Do y'all remember when I reviewed this wacky pro This thing is dusty collecting dust because you know what? It didn't work. It was a total failure piece of junk. So a company from Denmark saw that crappy thing and said they had a better solution. Uh, I'm a little bit skeptical, but hey, I'm willing to give it a shot. What they sent me was uh, the Icebreaker Urban. This was an Indiegogo campaign that was successful. It raised over $300,000 and who knows? It's supposed to be like a dinner table model, so you don't have to touch the ice for your guests when they come over. Put it in the freezer in any angle you want, and then you twist the top and ice cubes shoot out the bottom like magic. So I'm super excited about the Urban. But they have a current Indiegogo campaign for this one. This is called the Icebreaker Pop. It's a revolutionary design that is portable. It's made for like picnics or going camping. You fill this thing up, put it in there any angle. Both of these are watertight. And then you pop this dude and you shake out the ice cubes. That's how it's supposed to work. Um, we're gonna give it a shot. I haven't even opened these, so let's see what we got in the package. So the icebreaker pop feels like this part is all rigid. Um, where the ice cubes go are rigid. And then it has these two handles here, which like you can just grab onto easily and then, oh, oh. And pop it open like that and then shake out your ice cubes. Now, you know what, when it's closed, you can't even pull it apart. That just shows it's airtight, and if it's airtight, you know it's watertight. So, we're gonna give this one a shot, the Icebreaker Pop, and this is the one I'm super excited about, the Icebreaker Urban. Now, I got the Sapphire Blue one, they sent this over to me. Now, they didn't pay me, this isn't a sponsored video, but they did send me these products to try out for free. Um, I don't even have affiliate links that go with these products, so. I just hope you subscribe. Now this thing is all plastic. It's got a little drip tray on the bottom that's supposed to catch the ice. You see there's like a, looks like a screw in there. And when you turn, is it turning? I can't even see, is it turning? I bet this thing is unique. I'm, I'm excited about this. I seriously don't even know how this works. There's a lot going on in there. You got a screw, uh, it looks like this, I don't even know what happens. This is gonna be pure magic. So, so how much is there really to talk about with a couple ice cube makers? So, let's go make some ice. kind of my favorite. This thing is super fun to pop open. It's super easy. You can take it. It keeps the ice insulated. This one's a little more high end. It's a little more bougie. This is for, you know, if you're drinking a good scotch and you want to drop a couple cubes into someone's glass and you don't want to touch it. Um, that's when you want the Icebreaker Urban. I'm going to leave links to both of these products below. This one right now is on Indiegogo still, but you can back this product and get it. I don't know when they're shipping. They might be shipping now. Um, this one is also available. I'll put a link for these below. Great products. I got nothing bad to say. They definitely beat this thing. This thing is complete garbage compared to these two devices. These are actually usable. They're kind of fun to use. Both of them are unique. You got a pop, you got a twist. You got ice. 
Now this video wasn't a paid sponsorship, but they did send me these over to test and they didn't tell me what to say. So um, I will say right now, since they didn't tell me what to say, there's a couple things. This one doesn't make enough cubes. Um, it's really cool, but you might want to get a few of them and it's kind of on the high end on money. This one, I don't really see too many problems with it. They really came a long way when they engineered this product. Um, I love this one. I really have nothing bad to say about the ice breaker pop. Um, this one is for a special kind of customer. All right, so if you guys want to get the Icebreaker Urban or the Icebreaker Pop, I will put links below. They're not even affiliate links. I get nothing from it. The only thing I ask of you is that you subscribe if you like this video. Check out one of these videos also. And there's the little button to subscribe. You can just click that and, and I'm going to go make a drink with these. Have a good day.